number of years ago, I spent a week with my family in Costa Rica. There's a lot to do in that beautiful country, and both of my kids, as early teenagers, thoroughly enjoyed it. One afternoon, we went on a boat ride to watch dolphins and enjoy dinner out on the ocean. As part of the tour, at one scenic stop, the boat anchored and the captain invited everyone to get off for snorkeling and or swimming if they desired. In addition to snorkeling, the captain invited us, anyone who wanted, to jump off the top deck of the catamaran into the ocean if we wanted. As you might imagine, the teenage boys and the young adults were the first to attempt the high dive into the water below. Some needed a little peer pressure, but most of the young men were more than happy to jump and impress the girl that they brought with them. While anchored, I began to look around at the other participants on the tour and began looking a little closer for the first time. I began to notice the wide range of ages that were represented on the boat tour. There are many elderly people wearing regular clothes, enjoying the scenery, but clearly with no intention to get off to swim or snorkel, much less jump 25 feet off the top of the boat. There are also a bunch of young children on board. Each of them got off for snorkeling and swimming, but again, not a single one of them dared to make the jump. While I was looking around at the different ages and the life stages represented, Kim turned to me and asked if I was going to jump. Yes, I said, I'm going to jump while I still can. I'm in my mid 40s, I'm healthy, I'm in good shape. I can run, snorkel and swim. There'll probably come a day when I'm unable to do any of those, but that's not today. Today I can jump and so I will. Besides, my son's a teenager and he had every intention of jumping off the boat. I wanted to be there, I wanted to jump alongside him while I still could because this might not always be the case. There are moments in life that are difficult to communicate adequately with words. The circumstances are just right, the emotions are in perfect alignment, and all the thoughts running through the back of your mind are impossible to describe to another person. And sometimes in those moments when everything is just right, a thought overwhelms you. For me, that day, The sight of young adults jumping off a boat into the ocean while those younger and those older watched from the sideline brought new resolve into my life. I want to jump while I still can because there will come a day when I can't and I don't want to regret missing my opportunity to do it while I could. On that warm evening in Costa Rica, that meant jumping into the ocean and treading water waiting for my son to follow. But I found the principle of jump while you can extends far beyond that one moment. You see, not long after that boat ride, I was talking to a friend at a restaurant about raising daughters. His daughters are a bit older than mine, so I like to seek his wisdom and input from time to time. He happened to make a comment to me about how fast time passes. They grow up really fast, Joshua, and you don't always realize it's happening. He continued, I'll never forget the time I reached down to grab my daughter's hand on a walk and she pulled it back for the first time and said to me, I think I'm old enough to walk alone. Without even realizing it, my little girl had become a young woman. That evening, while on a walk with my daughter, I made a special point to hold her hand and enjoy the moment. Jump while you can, Joshua, I thought to myself, because there's probably coming a day very soon when I won't be able to. I've begun to apply this mantra to the work that I do. As many of you know, I wrote a book last year called Things That Matter, and I've been thinking quite a bit about what to do next. Recently, I was discussing an idea with a friend about creating a specific training for professional organizers and declutterers in the systems and methods that I use to help people become minimalist. And incidentally, it was this mantra of jump while you can that kept running through my mind during the decision-making process. I'm healthy, with energy, and I still enjoy working hard. I'm at a good place in my life to invest effort in creating something that will be genuinely helpful for people. And that might not always be the case, but today it is. So I'm going to jump while I can, and I look forward to launching something new in January. 
I also have some specifically faith-based ideas that I'm going to start next year as well. I don't know what opportunity, opening, or challenge lies before you right now or in the new year. Maybe it's a physical opportunity, a business opening, a relational challenge, or something else altogether. But let me encourage you, jump while you can. Life changes quickly, and there may come a day soon when you're not able to jump. So take the most of your opportunities today.